In today's video, we are going to talk about why you do not want to buy a used SSD if you are flipping PCs or selling them on for a profit. So basically, if you are interested in, in my channel, you probably like buying some of these new SSDs or maybe you might even buy used SSDs to put into your gaming PCs because as we know, hard drives are kind of a thing of the past now and SSDs are obviously the big thing. Obviously, M.2 or NVMe drives are more popular, but, you know, the old style 2.5 inch ones are actually, you know, still quite popular now. And But in this video, I just kind of want to explain why I really would be hesitant of buying used SSDs. And I would really recommend buying a new SSD if you are going to sell on the PC or you're going to give it to a friend or relative or someone else who's going to use it. This is mainly because, as we know, you can't be 100% sure what data you have on a used SSD. You just don't know if you're dealing with major people who are high up, who've got obviously loads of money, or you know there might be client data on there which could be exposed from all sorts of banking institutions or... There could obviously be images on there, which obviously, or even videos on there, which aren't appropriate for, uh, <laughs> you know, use, shall we say, nowadays. Um, let's put it that way. Um, there could be, I mean, there just there just could be every, anything. And I know a lot of people will say, well, Michael, just, just put Windows on it, format it, put Windows on it, your way to go. But no, actually... If you're kind of more up in uh, up with um, sort of technology, you'll kind of know that if you install Windows 10 and format the drive and install Windows 10 or Windows 11 or whatever Windows you're using or Ubuntu or Linux or whatever, it doesn't actually fully wipe away that previous data and then come to be used as a new drive again. The problem is it actually keeps the data on. And unless you use very very specialist software which can erase permanently erase all of your data off your ssd so it can be reused again then i really wouldn't actually touch a used ssd and i wouldn't put that in a gaming pc or any pc to either flip or to give to anyone else and obviously if it is potentially even your own data as well when you put your own data onto an ssd i certainly wouldn't be giving that out at all i mean that that could be exposed and you could be exposing yourself to anyone and you know there's there's hackers out there and what have you you've got to really be careful nowadays obviously gdpr is obviously a big thing now as well so people can get sued for data and what have you you could you could you could be in absolute trouble and you don't want to get into that situation over what is what like a 20 quid ssd to buy new or maybe 30 quid, you know, a 256 gigabyte SSD now is like 20, 25 quid or something, or even a 500 gigabyte one's like 35 quid. I mean, just don't risk it, just buy new, because at least with a new SSD, you know 100% there is no data or no previous data on the SSD at all. It is totally new, totally fresh. So you can simply put that into your gaming PC or any PC that you're gonna sell or laptop you're gonna sell or what have you. And you can just put Windows on there, you know, Windows 10, Windows 11, or whatever you want to use, Ubuntu or what have you. And then obviously don't put in your own user data when you do that. Just have a, a fresh install of Windows, a very, very basic install of Windows. Maybe install some of the drivers, obviously, so like your motherboard drivers and your graphics card drivers. Obviously to get it up to that kind of minimum level that you would need to use it to actually, if you're going to obviously sell it on for a user to use it. But apart from that, do not do anything more and do not obviously expose your own data and, you know, be really careful out there, guys. So it, it, it's just a very quick video that I wanted to kind of put out and just, just to be aware of, of these things, you know. A little drive like this, you know, could put you in a lot of trouble. And for what is, like I say, what, a couple of, you know, 20, 30 quid. I mean, it's nothing to buy a new drive nowadays, is it? So... You know, I just don't think it's worth putting yourself at any risk now. And I would obviously... So that is one part, which there is a lot of parts you can buy used for a gaming PC. And I probably will talk about this in future videos as well. And I kind of discuss more what 
I kind of do in terms of when I flip PCs and what I kind of make for my decisions of whether I go used parts or new parts and what have you. So this is probably something I want to expand on in the future. But certainly SSDs, like I said, I would always go new. Just, you know, these these ones, you know, as soon as it's not new in package, I mean, even this one, I know there's not much data on, but I wouldn't sell it. The, the, this is my own, my own one and I'll keep it. This is more like a testing drive, really. It's only a 120 gigabyte drive, so there's no, there's, you know, it's basically like a Windows boot, and then that's about it, just to do testing with and what have you. But, you know, just like I say, just be careful out there, guys. I mean, there's all sorts of things nowadays, like I say, with GDPR and all sorts of uh, security issues and things that you just don't want to get into now, where you just don't want to expose yourself to anything, and you know, just you just got to be careful with it. I mean, this is the internet, obviously, and this is, you know, the real world, and there there are bad stuff as well as good. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of good out there, but there is, there are some bad people out there or, you know, bad companies or what have you, and you don't want to expose yourself to, to, to risk. So just, like I say, for something which is so cheap, don't, don't expose that risk. So I hope you like the sort of video, guys. I know it's a bit different to my sort of usual content, but I just wanted to kind of put this out there and just so people, more people are aware. Um, there are, like I say, a lot of components you could use, um, you could actually get used. I mean, I'd certainly say a CPU would be fine to, to buy used. A RAM would certainly be fine to buy used. I think motherboards are a little bit kind of on an area where I'd probably want to go more new rather than used because there's so much going on with a motherboard. Um, and I will talk about this in future videos as well. I think power supplies is probably where I'd buy new as well, just to have a bit more peace of mind that it's that it's totally new and you know it's it's, it's one of the. But I, I will expand on this more in, in future videos. I think I'll probably I'll probably talk a bit more about power supplies and other components in another video. Uh, but I, I do want to just really highlight today that the, the you know why why I, I really would advise going with a new M.2 drive or. A, uh, 2.5 inch SSD and I, I would go new now where you know it is possible to erase these drives but I just wouldn't I just wouldn't touch that and you know like I say 30 quid for a new drive well, what is that really nowadays so yeah I mean hopefully guys you're all doing well and um, please like the uh, video for the algorithm please subscribe which helps my channel and obviously leave some comments here if you've kind of got an experience uh, flipping PCs and like sort of more precautions that you take maybe to kind of make sure that you're on a, on the safe side and you're not risking your risking data or risking breaches or anything like that. So um, yeah, just 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 let me know your thoughts, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye, guys.